Hey everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Peanut and I are so glad you could join us to get our sweat on today. Today's episode is Weight Loss Cardio Sculpt. You're just gonna need two sets of weights, one heavier, one lighter set. I'm working with fives and tens. You're gonna grab whatever works for you. Remember, you can switch out during the workout if you need to at any time, but let's warm up. Hopefully you were marching with me that whole time. Let's drive those arms back and forth. Check in with your posture here. We wanna start this off right, so make sure we're standing tall through the spine. Shoulders are back and down. Your abs are nice and tight. We're gonna keep those feet walking. We're gonna to start to wake up the shoulders and the back. Just reach your arms overhead, spread your fingers wide. Now pull down and squeeze your shoulders to your hips. So imagine you're actually gonna do a pull up, pulling up with the body, pulling those elbows down into your sides. Now let's take this faster tempo, take it up, take it down. Keep the pull energy, keep walking with those feet. This is one of those coordination moves, like rubbing the head, patting the stomach. Just do it a couple times, you'll get it. Good, give me a side to side step tap. Nice and wide with the feet. And I want you to sink a little down into this, sitting back in the hips. Peanut, are you chewing on my mat again? What are we gonna do with her, huh? Let's push the arms across. Good. Stay low. Nice. Give me eight more here, it's eight. Six and four, three, we're gonna keep the feet apart to a hamstring curl up. Now as you curl your heel in, I want you to really focus on flexing the foot and squeezing the heel up to your body so that we actually wake up the muscle. We're not just kind of flopping the leg around. Curl it in really strong. Good, that's it. Now let's make the arms a little bigger and I want you to pull back, squeezing your shoulder blades, Back and together here. Good. Opening through the chest, warming up that upper back. Nice. Now we're gonna start to do a little side to side knee lift. And we're gonna turn the shoulders into it here. Bring your arms up. Give me a little punch across. Good. Abs in tight. Turning through that waistline. Turning on those abs. Really lifting that knee nice and strong. You got it. Couple more, eight, seven, six, five, nice. Four more, three, last two, one more set. Hold the feet apart, give me a little squat and stand. So it doesn't have to be real deep. Not yet, we're still in warm up mode. Push the hips back, stand strong. Good. Now take it down, just give me a little pulse. Hold it back. So I want you to think about distributing your weight evenly between your toes and your heels here. Your back is nice and straight. Make sure you're not slouching forward through the shoulders. We're gonna stand up, turn the body to one side, go to the other. Exhaling, inhaling. Good. So push, go ahead and flex the palms. So we're engaging through the wrists. And I'm thinking about pressing the energy out through the heels of my hands. Send it all the way to the wall that's in front of you and the wall that's behind you. Four more right here. Four, three, two, last one. Pulse that squat for me one more time. Bring your hands on your thighs. Let's round the back, tuck the tailbone, arch and release. Tuck and release. Just stretch the back, contract the abs. Good. Step the foot out just a little wider. Give me a little side to side lunge. Coming down a little deeper. Checking that those knees are behind the toes. Good. You got it. Now let's just hold it to the right here. Take a little stretch for that inner thigh. We're gonna turn into that leg. Keep the back leg nice and long here. Opening the chest, rolling the shoulders back and down. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips, reach the fingertips to either side of that front foot. Come down for two. Now extend your leg up for two. Down, press it up. If you can get to the floor, awesome. If you can't quite reach, that's okay. Just go as low as you can. Press through that front heel really strong. You're gonna feel that go all the way up into your glutes, yeah? Good. A couple more right here. It's down and lift. Give me one more. 
Great job. Just come back to your lunge. Hands on the thigh. Let's keep lifting through that chest. Reach both arms up by the ears. Hold it as low as you can. Open the heart. Take the hands to the thighs. Turn center. Just take it side to side again. Maybe going a little deeper now that we're getting warmer. Beautiful. Hold it side. Stretch. Turn into it. Pivot the back heel up. Drop low. Here we go. We're going to take it down as low as we can here. And up. Keep going. Down, peanut. This is not your lunch. <laughs> she looks so surprised. Up. Go find your bone. No. Press through that front heel, guys. Squeeze. And down. I know those of you with pets can relate, right? Why do they like our mat so much? Peanut, no. One more. Here we go. Take it down and hold that lunge. Right, she's gonna sulk now. Arms up by the ears. Open up your chest, open up your heart. Good, hands to the thighs. Take it back to the center, both hands on the knees. Roll it on up. I think we're warmed up, guys. Let's get ready to rock. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our heavier set of dumbbells. So this is called Weight Loss Sculpt. A lot of you guys write me and say, you know, I'm trying to lose a couple extra pounds. I wanna get rid of some belly fat. Well, more cardio is not always the answer. What I want you guys to think about is building more lean muscle mass because we lose that as we age. So if you're not doing enough strength training, your metabolism could be dropping. So cardio helps you burn calories in the moment. Strength training helps you burn calories all the rest of the day around the clock. It's a good thing, right? So enough talking, let's start strength training. So we have a heavy weight in our hands. Abs are tight, your back is nice and tall. We're gonna go back to that nice low lunge that you just did for me in the warm up. But now we're gonna add some weight and we're gonna add a back row. I'm just gonna turn sideways so you can see it better. Pivoting the heels, square up your hips. So the leg is straight, but pull up through the knees so you're not locking it out. We're gonna come down as low as we can. We're gonna row on the way back. Inhale, exhale, pull. Now if you got to the floor with your fingertips, see if you can go there with the weights too. On the way up, you're gonna press and pull those elbows back behind you. Down, up. I want you to feel this one for days afterwards. You can thank me later, next time you sit down. Good, eight more like that, it's eight. Press to the heel on the toe. Back leg is straight, hinge forward and reach. Six, we got this. Five, good, come on, stay with me. Four, pull back. Three, I know I'm starting to feel it too, really. Two more. Last one here. Hold it up, great job. Woo. Shake it out. Take the feet hip width apart. Palms are in, abs are tight. We're gonna press the arm overhead. Oh, now Mag Megan's gonna join us. Palm turns forward as you press up. Keep the chest lifted. Abs tight, knees are soft. So it's a little corkscrew. Your palm rotates away, then it comes back in. Give me one more slow, then we're gonna speed it up. Don't lean back, keep your shoulders over your hips. Goes up and switch, up and switch. Good, that's it. So part of the challenge for your core muscles is keeping your torso upright and tall, right? So when you do anything overhead, we never want it to go behind the head. We want to keep it slightly in front and we don't want to start to lean back, right? Stack those shoulders over your hips the entire time. Four more. You can hear it in my voice. My heart rate's getting up there. Yours should be too. Good. Last set, here we go. Up. Awesome job. We're gonna go back to the back and the legs. Now we're gonna to turn to the other side. Get ready for that nice low lunge and row. Keep your spine straight. Down for two, pull back for two. So you're gonna reach to either side of that front foot as low as you can go. Press, good. Try not to slouch forward. So you're not reaching from the upper body. You're using the leg to get you down to the floor. Pull it back. 
down for two. We have animals everywhere today. <laughs> down. Megan, go lay down. Tell me how my form is. And pull back, good. Yeah. They always wanna go for a walk when it's time to work out, don't they? Four more to finish, guys. Four. Squeeze. Three. Pull back, two more. Aha, uh -huh. last one. Oh, she's gonna supervise, okay. Up and hold. Bring it back in. We're gonna do one more set of that corkscrew shoulder press. Weights in. Let's start with the left arm slow first. And in. So we wanna start slowly so we can check all those form points. Shoulders over the hips. Make sure you can see that weight out of the corner of your eye. As it presses overhead, you're engaging your abs, pulling them into your back. One more on both arms, then we'll speed it up. Make sure you're not leaning. Get ready. Single tempo. Up and in. Up and in. Good. Relax your neck. Don't let it jet forward. Lift. Good. Corkscrew that arm. Straight up. Pull it in. You got it. Nice. Drive it up. Here we go. Squeeze. We have two more sets right here. Last one. Great work. All right, guys. So let's trade out for our light set of dumbbells. Come back to your march. So we're gonna keep your heart rate up. We're gonna keep you burning calories. So this strength workout could actually count as cardio too. So we're gonna do two in one, which is always great. Let's be efficient with your time. So moving on from here, we're gonna start to work the biceps, but we're gonna keep the lower body going so we really rack up the calorie burn. So all I want you to do from here is do a step knee, front switch legs. So here's the low body, abs are in tight, and as you lift that knee, pull your belly button in tighter. We're gonna add a little bicep curl. Curl it up, take it back. Now, when we're moving the legs this quick, really tempting to start to swing through the weights, right? Don't do that. So notice how much effort I'm really putting into lowering the weights. Up, back, back. Up, control it down. I wanna see that from you too, okay? Give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four more, three more, two more, one more, hold it here, march it out. So we're gonna keep working the biceps now, but we're gonna switch it up. Wrap your thumb on top of the weight for me. So instead of being underneath, you're gonna come on top. We're gonna take the right leg, tap it out to the side. You're gonna curl, tap the leg and cross, down for two. Slow tempo first, so we get it in the body. Your standing knee is slightly bent. Your elbows are into your sides. You're gonna work your forearms and wrists a little more. Make sure that you're not breaking the line of your wrist though. Keep it nice and flat for me. Squeeze the inner thigh. Two more slow. In and out one more like that. Give me eight up to tempo. It's eight. Seven, you're barely touching the floor and if you wanted to make it harder, you can float that leg. Four more, use your inner thigh to cross it over. Two, yeah. Great job, now hold it here. We're gonna sit back into the hips, keeping the toe nice and light. Elbows are behind the body. We're gonna take the arms back and in. And you're gonna see if you can just float that outside leg just a little. Don't let it come up too high. Squeeze and in, good. So I'm just extending from the elbow. Don't let the arm drop. Two more. One more slow tempo. Ready? Give me eight single counts. It's eight. Seven, don't swing those arms. Six, don't let your leg knock you over. Keep it low, work those hips and glutes. Two more. Last one. Awesome job, bring it together, cross your weights. Before we do that on the other side, we're gonna do a little chop and squat. Arms come up, we sit back in the hips, squeeze your knees together. Reach out in front. My elbows are gonna bend a little bit so I can take those weights right outside of my thighs. 
Back is flat, abs are tight. Let's speed this guy up. Take it down, reach. So we're sitting back into a narrow squat position, chopping across, working that waistline. Sit as deep as you can into that squat, but keep your knees squeezing together. Work those inner thighs. Yes, good. That's it. Just four more. Here, three, two, last one. Great work, let's go to the other side. Wrap your thumb on top, tap that toe. Curling slow, we cross the leg, over and out. So slow tempo. If you wanna try your balance here, see if you can float that leg. Keep a nice tall line from your head down to your heel though, make sure you're not tilting to the side, right? Elbows in, great time to check the alignment of our wrists while it's slower. One more slow tempo, get ready. Eight singles, take it eight, seven, six, five, use those inner thighs, four, three, you got it, two, hold it out to the side, elbows back, hinge forward, lift, and in, add your leg, squeeze, and down, so this is lots of balance, lots of control, don't let your back round. Exhale and inhale. Good. Squeeze it, try not to lean. Two more slow. Take those knuckles to the wall behind you. Really squeeze the backs of those arms. Single it out for me. It's eight, seven, six, five, good, four, Three, Ooh, we're feeling that standing leg. Two, last one. Great job, bring it together, cross those weights. Take it down and across. Squeeze up. Both dogs are passed out. We haven't even barely got halfway through the workout. They're exhausted. Nice and slow, sit back. One more to both sides, then we'll speed this up. Okay, get ready. Here we go, single counts, down, chop. Nice. Reach back, guys. Squeeze those knees together. Good. Four more. Three. Nice. Last two. One more to both sides. You got it. Great job. Take the feet a little wider. We're going to keep those light weights. We're going to work more of the upper back. I'm just going to turn here. I want you to hinge forward. Give me an upper back row. Reach. Stand up and press the hands back behind you. Squeeze. Down. Flat back up. So my knees are bending a little. I'm really sending my elbows up and back on a diagonal line. So think about aiming to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you with those elbows and wrapping the shoulder blades back and together. Let's take it up to tempo. Down, pull, reach, press. So when you come up, Again, we're not swinging the weights. We're gonna use the back side of the body to bring ourselves back up to standing, yes? Down, pull, press it. That's it, so you're gonna use the triceps to sweep those weights behind the body. Still using that upper back too. Down, squeeze, add up. We have four more here, four. Good, three, awesome, two more, pull, last one right here, great job. All right, we're just gonna set the weights down. Grab your mat for a second, or if you're on carpet, you may not need one. So we're just gonna use it for the arms here because we're gonna move into a plank position. So I want you to come into a plank on your elbows. You're gonna clasp your hands together, elbows underneath the shoulders, feet come back, nice and wide. Okay, so we're gonna take the chest down for two and up for two. Inhale and exhale. So this is a lot of work through the shoulders and the chest here. The abs are working to keep your hips from sagging to the floor. You wanna shift forward 
into the toes, lower that chest, and press back. So really feel those shoulders. You're also gonna get the chest going. Down and up, good. Down and up, give me two more. And up, last one, down and up. Good, let's hold it here. So we're gonna come up onto all fours so that we can transition into a full plank. So I want you to place your hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna keep one light weight close by. Extend both legs back, bring your feet together, abs in tight. Now if you have any wrist issues, you can stay on the elbows for this and just modify it here. Turn your toes towards me. We're gonna pick up that weight, reach it overhead, see if you can stack the legs here. If you need more help, you can also drop your bottom knee to the floor, okay? So we're gonna hold it here. See if you can find your balance, take that bottom hand right underneath you. You're gonna bend your elbow, lift the leg, squeeze up. We're only gonna do eight of these guys because a lot is happening here. Three, and push. Four, and push, good. Five, squeeze, six, and up, two more. Use that bottom knee if you need it. Last one. Awesome job, carefully rotate back. Set the weight down, come back, stretch. Great job, you guys. So before we go to the other side, let me just go ahead and open up my mat here. We're gonna lie all the way down, face down on the mat, and we're gonna work the back of the body. So I want you to bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna lift the chest and the thighs together. Looks like this. Come down. Exhale, inhale. So you're extending the spine here, but you're also gonna press a little bit with those arms. Now I'm not going completely flat to the floor because I'm trying not to squish my microphone, but you can go all the way back down to the ground. Unless you're mic'd up too. Two more, good. Last one, I want you to hold it up. Lift those hands up, stay in that balanced position. Chest is lifted, take the arms out to the sides, pull your feet together, bring your hands to your hips. Bring it out, it's kind of like a little half jack. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Heels together, stay as lifted as you can. Two more. Good, release it, stretch it out, sit back. Breathe. Good job, guys, so let's turn it around. We're gonna do all of that one more time. So we're gonna come back to that elbow plank position. Legs are out, abs are tight. Shift forward. Press back, inhale, exhale, down, push back. So you gotta shift to the tiptoes, push away from the floor, use those shoulders, use that chest. Good, don't sink into it, stay strong. One more, good, quick little breather. And we're gonna set up for that full plank again. Up on the hands, or if you need to, you're gonna stand your elbows, extend the legs back. Keep that weight close. So we're gonna turn the feet, pick up that dumbbell, stack the body. If you know you're gonna need to bend that bottom knee, go ahead and do that now. Get ready with control. Eight, push, seven. Ooh, this side is much harder for me. Six. Five, four, three, two more. Last one. Oh, we did it, you guys, carefully. Come on back, sit back and stretch. I'm just gonna get rid of that weight because we're gonna come back to those extensions one more time. So lying down, remember you can go all the way flat. Hands underneath us, extend, release. Extend and lift the thighs, come down. So you're gonna really feel your low back here, but it's a good feeling because we're strengthening those back muscles. Squeeze and contract, connecting the glutes in the low back. Good, shoulders to your hips. Two more, make sure the back of the neck is staying long here. Don't stress it by looking at me. Hold it up, arms out. Let's take it to that little jack. 
heels come together, arms reach by the hips, squeeze and squeeze. Good. You got it. Four more. Two more. Last one. Great job, guys. Sit back, stretch and breathe. Release it. Nicely done. So we're gonna stay on the floor here. We're gonna turn on to our back now. So I want you to go ahead and find those heavy dumbbells one more time. So grab those weights for me. Yes, you gonna help me with the weights? No, okay. So feet are flat, knees are bent, abs are tight. Roll back onto your back. Press the weights right above your chest. We're gonna lift the legs up to 90 degrees, bringing the knees together. So we're just gonna use the core muscles to keep the shoulder blades pressed into the floor, the hips square and steady. You're gonna alternate bending one elbow down to the floor at a time. Try not to let your body shift or rock. And the elbow doesn't really touch the ground. It comes about an inch away from that floor. Make sure you're lining up the, the weights right over the middle of your chest here, not those shoulders. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you an option. If you want to, you're gonna extend your opposite leg out. Don't touch the floor with it either. Keep the abs tight. Good. And reach it. Keeping the core square, shoulders and hips square on the floor. Yep. And down. Good. Last four right here. Two. Now we're going to let the legs extend all the way straight, flexing the feet. I want you to really press your legs against the floor. We're going to lift from the back of the body. So don't use your chest anymore. The arms are still working to hold those weights. But I want you to think of climbing up. Now look at my elbows. They're staying extended. I know this move feels like you want to bend and pull yourself up, but you're really pressing from the back of the body. Once you got the hang of it, you can try a little bit quicker. If your neck starts to bother you, put your head on the floor, do what you can. Eight more, six, four, three, two, excellent. Release the weights down. Good job, let's bring the knees into the chest. Rock all the way up for me. We're gonna find those light weights and we're gonna slowly and carefully stand ourselves up. So you don't wanna stand up too fast. I don't want you to get dizzy. Take your time. We're gonna rewind all the way back to that deadlift upper back row. Do you remember that one? So you're standing with your feet wide, palms are in, you have your light weights again. We hinge forward, we squeeze back, reach, flat back brings you up. Down, pull, reach, lift, just two more slow tempo, down, squeeze that upper back, remember you're aiming those elbows back on a diagonal for me, one more slow, pull it back, ready, single it out, here we go, down, squeeze, and lift, so keep that nice long line through the spine, from the tailbone to the crown of the head, focus on that upper back, Pulling those shoulder blades back and together here. Good, we're getting all those posture muscles, building more support for the body. Down, squeeze, flat back. You got four more right here. Three. Good, last two. One more. Great job, you guys. Let's go ahead and set those weights down. We're gonna come back to the floor. We're gonna repeat that set for the chest one more time. So we're gonna upgrade again to our heavy weights. Knees bent, feet flat, lie back. Abs are tight, lift the weights, lift the legs. Let's get right into it. So we're here, or that opposite leg extends as that arm bends, your call. So sometimes when we do these coordinated moves, the brain just can't grab it, right? And that's okay, that's why you have options. The most important part is what your arms are doing and the form with the weight. So concentrate, that, concentrate on that part first. You can graduate 
to adding all the spices into the soup later. It doesn't all have to happen at once. Good. Down and up. Beautiful. Give me four more. Now, because this is our last set of this move, we're going to amp it up a little bit as we end. We're going to take both arms down and both legs out, if you're using the legs. If you're not, just use both arms. Inhale, exhale. Now, notice my legs are much higher than they were when I was just extending one at a time because I want to make sure that my low back doesn't arch. We want to keep this only in those abs. Inhale, exhale. We only have three more. Two more. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and extend both legs all the way out straight, flexing the feet, arms stay extended. Start with your slower tempo. Drive straight up. Make sure your arms are straight. If you want to take it faster, try it. If you want to stay slower, go for it. Chin to the chest, try to keep that neck as relaxed as you can here. Push, push, good. We have eight, six, four, three, two. Nice job, release it down. Give your knees a big hug to your chest. That's it, you guys, we're done. Go ahead and rock on up to a seated position. Let's just take a few quick stretches to wrap things up. Give me a stretch to the side. Good, now take that arm and reach it to the floor. And I want you to kind of push your elbow against your thigh if you can, look back behind you, stretching across that upper back. And take it to the other side. Stretch. Take that arm across, elbow presses gently against the knee, look behind you. Good. Let's just go ahead and bring the legs together. Come into a little crouch position with the hands in front of your feet. Slowly drop the heels, lift the hips, hold that forward fold for me. Let's bring the hands behind the back, interlace your fingers, stretch across your chest and your shoulders. We're gonna come up with a flat back, nice and slow. Again, don't stand up too fast, no dizziness, no whiplash. Hands behind your hips, extend that spine for me. Good, one more time, it just feels so good. Realign, that's fine. And take it center, just shake everything out. Whew. Take a deep breath in, and let it go. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this weight loss cardio sculpting routine. I hope you got a great workout in today. I know I sure did, the dog sure did. We, we certainly look forward to sweating with you again soon. Keep up the great work, and we'll see you next time.